righty. Any pains or injuries before we start? Okay, everyone, good. All right, let's sit up tall. All right, good day, everyone. This is Stephen Chang coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as through Zoom. You can register for class through ubindi.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10, and you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. Payment information is on the bottom of the video. Um, and of course, all of this can be found on my website, simhayoga.com. Today's class is Intermediate Advanced Lab. It is level two, level three. Please make sure that if you're working with any kind of special conditions or limitations that you do uh, modify or skip poses altogether, please be mindful not to injure yourself and do anything that is not appropriate for your condition. All right, let's sit up tall. If you need to elevate and sit up on a block or a blanket, please do so. And let the palms face up. Fingers come to Dhyana Mudra, thumb and index fingers touching. And with eyes closed, start to center the breath. Deep inhales and exhales through the nose. Three arms together, inhale. Um. 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 Keeping the eyes closed hands together in prayer on front of the heart, pressing the thumbs into your heart, heart back into the thumbs, lifting the heart up toward the sky, setting your intention for yoga practice, devoting your practice to someone or something or to yourself, your supreme self that lives within your heart, chanting the mantra for purification, purifying the space in which you practice yoga, call and response. Om Mapavitraha. Om ma pavitra ha, pavitra wa, pavitra wa, sarwa vushtan, sarwa vushtan, katopi wa, katopi wa, yaha smarit, yaha smarit, bundrikaksham, bundrikaksham, sapahya, sapahya, pihyandraha, Bihyandraha, suchihi, suchihi. Beginning to open the eyes and let the palms face up. Fingers come back to Gyana Mudra. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the left side. Continue that side stretch. Reach your left fingertips out. And then touch your left fingertips to the floor and keep grounding the left fingertips. And then gently draw the chin toward the right shoulder and pull softly to the back of the head. Release, back to center, drop the right hand. Left ear to the left shoulder, left hand to the right side. Keep the side stretch, extend the right fingertips out. And then lower your fingertips to the floor and use that as support as you pull gently to the right side of the head. And then chin toward the left shoulder. Release back to center, drop the left hand, chin toward the chest. Big circles with the head in one direction, ear to one side. Roll it back. Opposite side, roll the center. A few more rounds in that same direction. Back to center, and then take the circles in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. 
and come back to center again. Lift the chin parallel to the floor near your spine, extending the legs forward, separating your feet. Turn your toes toward each other, and then roll them out. Draw in, roll out, draw in, outer rotation, circling. Back to center, switch them around, inner rotations. And back to center again. Cross your shins, take the opposite shin on top. Inhale, take the arms up high, extend. Exhale, twist to the right. And now back to center. Exhale, twist to your left. You know, back to center. Exhale, side bends, right hand down, left arm overhead. Now keep your right hand down, raise your left arm up, bend your left elbow. Left elbow to the right knee. Inhale, take it back up. Left elbow to the right knee. Inhale, take it back up. Exhale, left elbow, right knee, and stay there and fold in toward that right knee. And actively reach to your left, thing, uh, left elbows toward the floor. Inhale, take it back up. Re-extend the left arm, left hand down, right arm up, and side bend to the left. Take it back up to vertical, keep your left hand down, bend your right elbow, right elbow to your left knee. Inhale, take it back up. Right elbow, left knee. Inhale, take it back up. This time, right elbow, left knee, stay there and fold toward that left knee. And then actively reach your right elbow toward the floor as well. Inhale, come back up. Re-extend the right arm and extend the left arm as well with your thumbs. Press your thumbs to the occipital ridge and interlace your fingers. Draw the elbows out. Pull upwards with your thumb to lengthen your neck and then also arch your upper back just a little bit looking upwards. Come back to neutral. On the exhale, draw the elbows in toward each other as you draw the chin toward the chest. Inhale, expand. Looking up and arching slightly back. Exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, expand. Exhale, round. Now this time, stay rounded uh, with the elbows in and then start to pull against the back of the head. And then drawing your chin toward the chest and slowly roll down into a forward fold until perhaps maybe even your elbows are touching down to the floor. And just expanding the neck and the upper back. Release your hands and slowly start to roll up. Take the hands back behind you. Outwardly turn your fingertips um, to the sides. And then slightly behind you, lift your chest, broaden your shoulders. And again, gently looking up. Release, back to center. Keep the left heel in. Draw the right heel back into a letter S. So left heel on front, right heel behind you. And then walk your hands over to the left side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist and bow forward about halfway. Stopping at the halfway point. Inhale again. Exhale, twist deeper, bow forward even more. Keep your left hand supporting. Reach your right fingertips out and crawl the fingertips out even further. So you're deepening the rotation of the spine as you stretch through your right arm, right shoulder, shoulder blades. And walk it back in, lift back up, and counter twist to the right. Take it back to center. Left hand to the floor for support. And standing on the shins, right arm up and across the collarbone, back in space for a back bend and a heart opener. 
Then raise your right arm up over the right ear. Extend. And release. Take the seat down. Switching sides. Right heel comes in. Left heel goes back. A reverse letter S with your legs. And then walk your hands over to the right side, supporting with your palms or your fingers. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, start to twist and bow forward about halfway. Stopping at the halfway point. Inhaling again. Exhale, twist deeper. Bow forward a little bit more. Then keep supporting with the right hand. Reach your left fingertips forward and extend. Crawl the fingertips out, deepening your twist. Finding the lengthiness to your left arm, left shoulder, and shoulder blades. Begin to walk your hands back in. Lift back up and twist to the left. Back to center again. Draw the left heel in. Soles or feet together and knees apart for Baddha Konasana. Draw the heels in. Grabbing the ankles, inhale, lengthen, exhale, start to draw forward. And then if you want, press your elbows to your inner thighs for more hip opening. Start to make your way back up. Take the knees together, swing the legs back behind you. Take it to hands and knees. Do some cat cows. Inhale, draw the navel down, raise your tail, raise the back of the head. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Come to neutral spine. On the inhale, kick your right heel back. Exhale, draw the right knee in. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, draw the right knee in. Inhale, kick back. Bend your right knee. Reach your left hand back, grabbing the foot, and kick. Release. Reach your right heel back. Lift the left knee. Three-legged dog. Open up the hips and bend the right knee. Staying here. As you reach your right knee up, left heel down, stacking up the hips. Raise your right leg back up, square off, and stepping your right foot forward, back heel comes down, warrior one. On the inhale, lengthen front leg and reach up. Exhale, bend the front knee, arms alongside. Lengthen and reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Lengthen and reach up. Keep the arms reaching up, bending the front knee, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Same thing here. Lengthen your front leg and reach up. Bend the front knee, warrior two. Lengthen and reach up, warrior two. Lengthen and reach up, warrior two. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Extend the side angle, reach your left arm forward. And then let's take big circles with the left arm. Reach your left arm up, back, down, forward. Three times, up, back, down, forward. Up, back, down, forward, into a half bind. Left hand back behind you, stack your shoulders. Inhale, come all the way up, reverse, warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, right foot, stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, lower all the way down. Three progressive cobras. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up even higher. Full extension of your arms if you want it. Bend the elbows if you need it. And staying here for a few breaths. And start to release for child's pose, seat toward the heels. (laughs) 
down dog. Ah, sorry. Hands and knees. Hands and knees. All right. Three cat cows. Inhale. Draw the navel down. Raise the tail. Raise the back of the head. Exhale. Round the spine. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Come back to neutral spine. Inhale. Kick the left heel back. Exhale, left knee in towards the nose. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, left knee in. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, left knee in. This time, inhale, kick back. Bend your left knee. Reach back with your right hand. Grab the foot and tiger pose. Release. Right hand comes down. Lift the right knee. Open it up, open up the hips, bend the left knee, sideward scorpion, staying here, left knee is reaching up, right heel is reaching down as you stack. Raise your left leg back up, step it forward, warrior one. Inhale, length and front leg reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Length and reach up. Bend arms alongside. Reach up, keep the arms reaching up, bending the front knee, warrior one. Open it up for warrior two. On the inhale, length and front leg reach up, bend the front knee, warrior two. Inhale, reach up, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach up, warrior two. Reverse warrior, left arm up and back. Exhale, side angle. Hand to inside the foot, right arm up. Can of course modify with the elbow to the knee. The right palm facing down, reach forward, extended side angle. And then big circles with the right arm, reach up, back, down, forward, up, back, down, forward, up, back, down, forward, into a half bind, right hand back behind you. Inhale, come all the way up, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, left foot stepping back, flank. Inhale, one breath, exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Progressive cobras, three of them. On the inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up even higher. Cobra pose, Bhujangasana. Begin to release. Child's pose. Seat toward the heels and fold. Come back up. Hands and knees. This time we'll take big circles with the knee. Okay? On the inhale, kick the right heel back. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose. Open up the knee to the right side and kick the right heel back. Right knee in toward the nose. Open up the knee to the right side and kick it back. Right knee in toward the nose. Open out to the right side, kick it back. Then open up the hips, bend the right knee here. Right knee to the outside of the right arm, kick it back. Right knee outside of the right arm, kick it back. Right knee outside the right arm. Kick it back and stay there. Look past your left shoulder for the sole of the right foot. Square back. Re-extend the right leg. Lift the left knee. Three like a dog. Open up the hips. Bend the right knee. Re-extend the right foot. Step it forward. Warrior one. Hands together in prayer, interlace your fingers, press your palms forward. Inhale, length in front leg and reach up. Bend the front knee, press forward and twist to the right. Square center, length and reach up. Bend, press forward and twist. One more time. Square center, length and reach up. Bend, press forward and twist. Stay twisting to the right. Half bind, right hand behind you. Left elbow to outer right knee and twist it lunge.
Inhale, all the way up and around, reverse, warrior. Lengthen out the right leg, triangle. Hand to top of the shin or to the floor, left arm up. Now this time we're gonna move the thoracic spine by moving your left hand to the left side and then down toward the floor. So you're using your mid spine. Inhale, reach your left arm out and up. Out to left and toward the floor. Out to left and up. One more time. Out to left and toward the floor. Out to left, up and half bind. Stack your shoulders. Inhale, come all the way up. Reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, right foot stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath, exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Press your hands into the floor, lift up, Bhujangasana, bending of the elbows if you need it. Once you have your Bhujangasana, start to look over to the right. Back to center, look over to the left. Back to center, gaze upwards, and then chin toward the chest. Back to neutral, bending up the elbows, taking all the way back to child's pose. Once you get to child's pose, walk your hands over to the left side. Left arm comes down, right hand reaching out and actively tracking your fingertips forward and to your left, getting a really deep right side stretch into your arms, into your shoulders and the ribs. Walk it back to center, switch sides, right arm comes down, left arm reaching out, tracking your fingertips forward and to the right. And if you want more depth into your left shoulder, let the left shoulder start to descend toward the floor. Get more openness into that shoulder joint. Walk it back to center. Hands and knees. All right. Big circles with the left knee. Inhale. Kick your left heel back. Exhale, left knee in toward the nose, open out to the left side and kick it back. Left knee in toward the nose, open out to the left side and kick it back. Left knee in toward the nose, open out to the left side, kick it back, open up the hips and bend the left knee. Left knee to the outside of the left arm in touch, kick it back. Left knee outside the left arm, kick it back. Left knee outside the left arm, Kick it back and stay there, kicking back. Look past your right shoulder for the sole of the left foot. Re-extend, square back, lift the right knee. Three-legged dog, open up the hips and bend the left knee. Re-extend, step the left foot forward, warrior one. Take the hands together in prayer, interlace with the other thumb on top and press forward. Inhale, lengthen front leg, reach up. Bend the front knee, press forward and twist left. Square center, lengthen, reach up. Bend, press forward and twist. Square center, lengthen, reach up. Bend, press forward and twist. Stay twisting to the left. Half fine, left hand behind you and leaning forward, right elbow, outer left knee and twisted lunge. Inhale all the way up and around, reverse warrior. Lengthen out the left leg, triangle. Left hand to top of the shin or to the floor, right arm up. So this time we're arcing the right hand to the right side of the thoracic twist. Reach your right hand out to right side and toward the floor. Inhale, out to right and up to the sky. Out to right and toward the floor. Out to right and up to the sky. 
Out to right, toward the floor. Out to right, up and in to a half bind. Stack your shoulders. Inhale, come up. Reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, left foot stepping back plank. In a one breath, exhale all the way down, this time on your forearms. Lift the chest and then turn the gaze over to your left side, past your left shoulder. And then if you want to add on, you can draw the chin toward the left shoulder. Release that action, square back to center, turn over to the right. And then once you're set, if you want more, chin toward the right shoulder. Release that action, back to center. Draw the elbows out, child's pose. Lift just your head and your upper torso. Keep your right hand to the floor. Thread the left arm underneath and then draw the chin, sorry, draw the uh, shoulder and the side of the head to the floor and then raise your right arm up and behind you for half bind to twist. Raise your right arm back up. Right hand to the floor, switch sides, so lifting. Left hand to the floor for support. Thread the right arm underneath. Right shoulder, right cheek down. Left arm up and behind you. Release your left hand back down to the floor. Lift back up. Hands and knees. Right. Once you have hands and knees, this time your hands come forward by about one and a half handprints. Then pre uh, your middle fingers are pointing straight forward. Then pressing into your palms, roll the eyes of the elbows forward as you bend the elbows to draw almost all the way down. And then lift back up. Press strongly into your hands and into your thumbs. Draw almost all the way down. And then lift. This time, bend the elbows, draw almost all the way down, and stay there with the elbows maybe about an inch away from the floor. Notice the spread to the upper back through that outer rotation with your arms. And lift the elbows back up. Walk your hands back into hands and knees. Inhale, reach your right heel back. Exhale, right knee comes in, twisting to touch your left arm. Inhale, kick it back. Right knee comes in to twist, touch your left arm. Inhale, kick it back. Right knee comes in to twist. Inhale, kick it back, open up the hips. Step the right foot to the floor, raise your right arm up and back. Then pick up your right knee. Right hand to grab the uh, right foot and kick it back in space. Start to release and step the right foot out to right side, standing up for gate pose. Side bend to the right. Keep reaching with your left hand to the right side and then start to square off over the right leg as you turn the right toes up, flex your foot, and fold. Start to release, come back, step the right foot back down, Come back to side stretch, 
and then switch directions. Left hand to the floor, right arm up. Take it back up to center. Walk your hands forward about, a, um, about the distance of hands and knees. Then walk your left hand, one handprint wider, one handprint further forward. Raise your right arm up. Exhale, twist, right shoulder, right cheek toward the floor. Take it back up. Left hand to the left heel, right arm up and back. Take it back up, switch hands. Right hand to the left ankle, left arm up. Take it back to center. This part is tricky. You're gonna step on the left knee with the right hand, grab the foot, grab the left foot, and then side bend to the right, okay? All right, start to release. Uh, you should be facing forward. Hands to the floor. Reach your right heel back. Lift the left knee, three-legged dog. Open up the hips, bend the left, uh, right knee. Re-extend. Step the right foot forward. Warrior one. Wrap the hands back behind you into lace. Lift up, gaze up. Bow forward, devotional warrior. Inhale all the way back up, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, half bound side angle or fully bound side angle. We're taking the full bind, right arm, Underneath your right leg and behind you. Lift up, lean back, and stack. Inhale, release. Come all the way back up. Reverse warrior. Lengthen out the right leg and swim the hands to the floor to frame your right leg and fold over your right leg. Revolve triangle, left hand stays down, right arm up to twist. Extend forward, extend and revolved. Have find it, right arm up and behind you. Bend the front knee, circle it all the way up into reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor. Right foot stepping back. Plank. Lower all the way down to the belly. Left arm comes down. Uh, take it to a 45 degree angle. Bend your left knee. Reach back with your right hand. Bind to the foot and kick back. Look past your right shoulder behind you. Release, square back, switch sides. Right forearm comes down, 45 degrees. Bend your right knee, left hand reaching back to bind. And kick back once you have that. Back. 
release child's pose. Walk your hands in, standing on the knees. Right hand to the floor, left arm forward, bend to left elbow. Inhale here, ah, sorry, right hand behind your half bind. Inhale, draw the left elbow back. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, draw the left elbow back. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist. Stay here in the twist. Left hand to the outer right leg, twist deeper. Square back to center, switch sides, left hand behind you, right arm forward. So it's a half bind with the left hand. Bend your right elbow. Inhale, draw the right elbow back. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, draw the right elbow back. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist left. Stay twisting. Use your right hand to outer left leg for more resistance and twist deeper. Release, square back forward, hands and knees. Inhale, left heel back. Left knee comes into twist, touch your right arm. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, left knee comes into twist. Inhale, kick back. Left knee comes into twist. Inhale, kick back. Uh, bend your left knee and reach your left hand to grab the left foot behind you. Ugh. Step the left foot back behind you, reach your left arm up and overhead. And I think I switched that sequence there. I should have dropped the foot behind us first. All right, square back. Left foot steps out to left side, gate pose. Side bending to the left. Keep reaching your right hand further as you take the hand to the floor to either side the left leg for support, pivot to your left heel and flex your foot, the toes point up toward the sky and then start to fold forward over the left leg. All right, start to step the left foot back as you come back up into gate pose and then side bending to the right. Take it all the way back up. Walk your hands forward uh, to the distance of hands and knees. Right hand, one hand print wider, one hand print further forward. Inhale, lift the left elbow up. Exhale, twist. Thread the left arm underneath, left shoulder, left cheek comes down as you twist. Press into your right hand, lift back up, walk it back in. Then right hand to the right heel, left arm up. So we're combining your gay pose with your camel pose. Inhale, take it back up, switch hands. Left hand to the right heel, right arm up and back. Come back up, steady your balance. You're gonna pick up the right foot. Find the left hand to the right foot and side bend to your left. Let's 
start to release, square back, hands to the floor, raise your left heel up, lift the right knee, open up the hips, bend the left knee, sideward, scorpion. Raise your left leg back up, step it forward, warrior one. Then wrap the hands back behind you. Take the non-dominant thumb on top as you interlace. Lift up, gaze upwards. Bow forward, devotional warrior. Crown of the head toward the inside of the foot. Inhale, take it all the way back up for warrior one. Open it up, warrior two, reverse warrior, bound a side angle. Or half bind if you're not taking the full bind. Release your binds, inhale, come up, reverse. Lengthen out the left leg as you swim the hands to the floor to frame your left leg for your pyramid. Revolve it. Right hand down, left arm up to twist. Extended revolve, left arm reaching forward. Half bind it, left arm up and behind you. Then bend the front knee, circle it up into reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, left foot stepping back plank. Lower all the way down to the belly. Walking your hands slightly forward. I should lift up into your cobra. So if your bind is um, too deep for you here, you can go back to the forearms. You're going to bend your right knee. Reach back with your left hand. Kick back and look behind you. All right? If that is too much, maybe you can come up for Bhujangasana, but not bind and just look past your left shoulder behind you. Release, switch sides, uh, left hand down or left forearm down. Reach your right hand back behind you. Find and look behind you. Release, lower all the way down, and then child's pose. Walk your hands in, standing on the knees. Left hand to the floor, right arm up, and bend your right elbow. Right elbow to your left knee. Inhale, take it back up. Right elbow to your left knee. Inhale, take it back up. Right elbow, left knee, and stay there. And then you can press your right elbow to the floor for resistance. Left hand behind you and twist. So Allison, keep the left shoulder lifting up and behind you. There you go. All right, release your left hand back down. Support with your left hand to come back up. Release your right hand to your floor for support. Left arm up, bend your left elbow. Left elbow to the right knee. Inhale, take it back up. Left elbow to the right knee. Inhale, take it back up. Left elbow, right knee, and stay twisting. Take the left elbow to the floor for support. 
And then raise your right arm up and behind you to twist. Release your right hand back down to the floor. Lift back up. Walk your hands forward. Down dog. Inhale, raise your right leg up. Step the right foot forward. Left knee comes down. Crescent move. Let's set up the pose and lean the hips forward first. And stay here. And just concentrate on the hip opening. Then release your hands up for Venus Mudra. Then come back up to neutral with your left hand. Uh, take it to the right knee for support. Then bend your left knee, reach back with your right hand, and take the revolved bind. Then you're going to slip your left elbow to the right knee for a twist. Take the gaze to look forward. Release your left hand to the floor for support. Then pivot to your right heel and turn the right toes out, right knee out, and lean the hips forward once again. And then look past your right shoulder behind you. So keep rotating as you kick the foot back. Keep the hips moving forward. Take the gaze to look back forward again. Take the left forearm to the floor, and then square off your shoulders. Draw the heel in toward the seat as you fold. Release your left foot, lizard. All right, lift the elbows back up. Half Virasana. With your hands supporting, turn the right toes forward. Then you're going to move your left foot a little bit wider. As you start to travel back, you're going to sit down to the inside of the left foot. So your foot should be to the outer left hip. So that's your half Virasana. If you need to elevate and sit up on the block or a blanket because you don't quite have the range, that is okay. Take the inner thighs together if you can, and the right toes point straight up, and you're pressing the top of the left foot to the floor. Uh, you want to take the inner thighs together if you can? Good. Right hand to the floor for support. Left arm up on the inhale. On the exhale, the best of your abilities, draw forward into a forward fold in your half virasana. Make your way back up, Bharadvajasana. Bend your right knee, half lotus to your left hip. If the half lotus is too much for you, the foot can go to the inside or the top of the left knee, uh, left leg is fine. All right, then you're gonna start to twist over to the right. So let the right hand come to your floor for support. Left hand, fingertips point to the left side, you're gonna insert the top of the left hand to the floor, and walk the right hand further back, rotate to the right. So first looking to the right, continue to twist. And keep everything as is, except you can turn the gaze to your left, past your left shoulder for the right foot. Bharadvajasana. So you're stretching your right side of the neck 
as you rotate to the right. All right, start to release. Re-extend the right leg. And then lift back up. We're gonna to work toward a split. So with your hands supporting, you're gonna crawl the right foot further forward and then lean the hips forward. All right, so we're taking preparations to work toward a split. Now, if you don't have a split, that is okay. You don't have to do a split. You can just keep working forward and back until you get to your deepest point and just gonna hold it there, all right? Then you're gonna shift back just a little bit to work the right hamstrings a little bit. Step the right foot back down, crawl the right foot even further as you lunge your hips forward. So you're going deeper into a lunge, right? So you're getting closer and closer toward a split. And then work it back again, right hamstring stretch. Now this time, you're gonna keep your right foot flexing and just inch your right heel forward, keep your hands supporting. Go only as far as you can manage. The right heel can move forward and the left knee can go back. Keep using your hands to support and work toward your split. Oh, the side is tight. Really bad form right now, but I'll square back. I'd rather support and be a little higher with better form. All right, so in splits, um, in the yoga splits, we try to square the hips forward. Whereas I think in dancer splits, right, you open to the side. All right, start to break. So you're gonna lift the seat as you gently draw the heel back in. And you can lunge your hips forward a little bit and then readjust, draw the heel back in. Once you get back to the low lunge, you're gonna lift the left knee and step the right foot back. Take the heels together, toes apart, extended malasana, extended squat. So you're gonna draw the seat towards the heels as you fold. And so the, this is my favorite way of neutralizing the pose. It feels really good to me, so hopefully it feels good to you as well. And then start to extend the legs, come back to your down dog. You might want to walk it out side to side or shake it out and do any movements that helps you to neutralize your hips, your hamstrings. All right, when you're ready, second side, left leg up. Step the left foot forward, crescent moon, right knee comes down. Once you measure out the base, then take the hands to the top of the thighs and then just actively lunge forward, getting into your quad stretch, hip stretch. Sink into that opening. And once you get those few breaths in and you're ready, take the arms up, Venus Mudra. Then starting to release your hands, come back to neutral. Right hand to your left knee for support. Then start to bend your right knee to reach back to grab the foot with your left hand. Kick back and twist to your left. Then start to reach your right elbow to your left knee. Use that resistance and twist even deeper. Keep the bind of the left hand to right foot. Release the right hand to the floor for support and then start to turn your left toes out to the side, 30 to 45 degrees and the left knee also follows. And then keep twisting to your left. You wanna kick your foot back away from you as you twist.
and then taking it deeper into your quad stretch. Square your shoulders, take the right forearm down, and then folding forward. Draw that right heel in with you as you fold. Lizard, release your right foot, take both forearms to the floor in front of you, and then with your forearm supporting, lean forward. If you like a little bit more range, you can gently and methodically uh, move your hips side to side to get different angles within the hip opening. Right, so the movement, very specific and very mindful, right? Be careful about how you move so that you're not just throwing weight around. All right, lift the elbows back up. We're gonna transition back into half Virasana. You can use your uh, block um, if you need to. So as you shift back, you're gonna move the right foot a little bit wider so that you can sit to the inside of the right foot. All right, so uh, you should be able to insert your hand between your foot and your hips. Then try to take your inner thighs together. Left foot is flexed. Hand is supporting to the floor. On the inhale, raise your right arm up. On the exhale, start to draw forward into your forward fold. Inhale, make your way back up, Bharadvajasana. You're gonna bend your left knee. Take a half lotus, top of the left foot to your right hip crease or to the inside of the right leg or the top of the right leg. Left hand comes to the floor for support. With your right hand, the fingertips are pointing to the right. You're gonna insert the right hand to the top of the left knee, palm facing down. Then you should adjust your left hand further back so they can draw the left shoulder back. And let's first look behind you, past your left shoulder, so you can get a nice rotation to the left. Then once you have that, turn just your cheek over to the right and look past your right shoulder for the left foot. And as you lean the head back slightly, you're getting a nice left, uh, the stretch to your left side of the neck. Bharadvajasana. All right, start to release. Extend the left heel forward. And then start to lift the seat up and lunge back forward again, working toward a split. So first going forward. So for most of us, splits are not easy, right? So I really like to take a lot of preparation, warming up the hips, the quads, and the hamstrings um, in order to lead us into a more productive and safer uh, split, Hanumanasana. All right, let's start to shift back. So there's a half split, flexing your left foot, getting into your left hamstrings. Step the left foot back down again. Walk it forward some more. So you're lunging a lot deeper, right? So you're getting toward 
um, a split already. You're kind of halfway there, but just allowing the muscles to start to understand, okay, we're getting a little bit deeper every time. All right, shift back one more time. Going into your left hamstrings again. All right, so the next time you come forward, you're gonna be light on the left heel and just gently slide the left heel forward. Stabilize and then uh, reach your right knee for the back. So you're gonna um, negotiate your way into it by moving the left heel forward, right knee back a little bit at a time. Until you get to your split. If you have a split, but keep your hands supporting. Three more breaths. And so again, as you make your way out of the pose, feel lightness to the heel so that you still use the heel for support, but you're not pulling against your mat so strongly, right? And as you draw the heel back, then lunge forward, tuck the right toes under, Ground the palms, step it back, heels together, toes apart, extended malasana. All right, down dog. Right leg up, pigeon, right knee in, land that shin to the floor. Angle out the right knee, right thigh, inch left knee further back. Set up your base, walk your hands in, elongate through the spine. Once you're nicely set up and you're ready, make your way forward. You can stay in your forearms, you can make pillows with the hands. And then you have a good 10 breaths at least to either make choices to stay here in your passive pigeon and just work on uh, the hip opening here with breath and gravity. If you like additional variations like the mermaids, your different binds, rotations, uh, inversions, anything you want. You have a good 10 breaths. So if you want to um, take a twist to your left, you want to lift up, take the right seat down so you can move the right heel further forward. The shin is more parallel to the front of the mat and flex your right foot. With your hand supporting, you're going to lean the torso further to your left. So you're angling your torso toward the right heel. And then taking your right tricep to solve the foot. Hands together in prayer. And then start to line up the elbows and your wrists. So that's one straight line, and you want to press your right forearm down, uh, sorry, right tricep down against your foot to lift your upper torso and then lean back. All right, so you don't want to collapse in this pose, but instead you want to lift and lean back.
beginning to make your way up. Let's take double pigeon, ankles to knee. So you're gonna lift the, seat, uh, lift the torso up, swing the left leg forward, center your seat. So moving your right heel forward so that the shin is again more parallel to the front of the mat, flex your right foot. Then take the left ankle above your right knee, on top of the right knee. And again, also lining up the shins one over the other like two burning logs and flex your foot as well. Use your hands to support, elongate through the spine. Then actively think about the left knee during down toward the right ankle. So you want to get as much rotation, openness there first. Then you can make a choice of just staying upright in a vertical line, feeling for the hip opening here, or with a straight spine, start to lean forward. Now lean forward only as far as you can manage the uh, proper integrity of the pose, right? Which is flexed feet, shins parallel, and opening of the hips in an outer rotation. Now if you have more range, you can always take your forearms down. All righty, and let's start to make your way up with your left hand, uh, with your right hand. Support the left leg, extend forward, and flex. Then start to reach your left leg all the way back behind you. Draw the right heel in, and then through that pigeon, transition back to your down dog, and then take lots of movement side to side. All right, come back to stillness, second side, left leg up. Take the left knee in, land the shin to the floor, angle out the left knee, inch your right knee further back. Walk your hands back, elongate through the spine. Make sure you're nice and level and properly set up. And then once you're set and you're ready, take it forward. So you have your 10 breaths to remain here. or we'll take the same variations you took on the first side. Make sure you're nice and even. And those of you taking the option with me, you're lifting the torso up, take the left seat down. Move your left heel forward so that the shin becomes more parallel to the front of the mat. And make sure you flex your left foot to protect the ankle joint and the knee joint of the left leg. And with your hand supporting, start to steer the torso over to the right and toward the right heel, my uh, left heel. Then taking your left tricep to the sole of the left foot and press into the foot. Hands together in prayer and then start to line up your elbows with your wrists and then press your left tricep down so you can lift the upper torso and lean back, twisting to the right. And the extended right leg, make sure you keep rotating inwards. The top of the thigh rolling down toward the floor and inwardly. Right? So you don't want to roll to the side of the leg. You, know, you want to roll to the top of the leg.
All righty, let's start to finish up. Make your way back up. Swing the right leg forward, center your seat. Then start to move the left heel forward so that the shin is more parallel to the front of the mat. Flex your left foot. Then take the right ankle on top of your left knee and then flex your right foot as well. So you're taking two burning logs, one over the other, lining them up with the feet flexed, hands either side, sitting tall. Actively feel the right knee drawing down toward the left ankle and that goes into your hip joint. And then with your hands supporting, start to lean the torso forward with a neutral spine. So try not to round, but instead work on lengthiness first as you hinge at the hips, take it forward. Go only as far forward as your hips, your knees, and your ankles can manage, right? Don't overdo it. Now, if you have more range, you can start to move your hands forward, maybe even your forearms down. So it all depends on your flexibility where you end up. And begin to break, make your way back up. With your left hand, support the right leg, extend forward and flex. Then start to travel back by swinging your right leg all the way back and draw the left heel in and through that pigeon, walk it back to the down dog and take lots of movement side to side. Then start to walk your feet forward toward your hands and take the seat down and start to recline onto your back. Recline twisting. Take the left knee in, hugging your left knee in, keep the right leg out. Then left arm out to a T position or downwards alongside the hips, your choice, and then start to twist to the right. And start to take the left knee back to center, switch legs, switch arms, twist to the other side. Take it back to center again, hugging both knees in. When you're ready, step the feet to the floor, slide the legs forward, shavasana, final relaxation. Let the feet separate, toes turned out, arms alongside the body, palms face up, and completely release.
begin to draw the breath back in, moving the fingers and your toes. When you're ready, reach the arms overhead, stretching in opposite directions. And when you come up to a comfortable cross-legged position, take a non-dominant shin on top. Palms face up, fingers in Dhyana Mudra. Reconnecting to an even seat, a lengthy spine, shoulders broad, breath deep, and let the neck be free. Inhale for Aum. Aum. Hands together in prayer, bowing forward, sealing in the practice. You know, come up. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here today. And also thank you for sharing your practice with me. My name is Stephen Chang, coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as through Zoom. You can register for classes through ubindi.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10. You can pay through Venmo or PayPal. Payment information on the bottom of the video. And again, all this can be found on my website, simhayoga.com. Thank you again. Be well. See you next time.